Hi, I'm Nick. I'm a graphic designer from London. Uh, I also studied in London. Um, I'm 23 and I want to talk to you about graphic design today and why you might be interested in doing it. I chose to study graphic design because I have always been interested in art and photography and when I left secondary school, left my A-levels, I decided to study a foundation in art in London in a place called LCC, London College of Communication, it's in South London. And um, during that foundation, I kind of, I just figured out that I really liked art and that kind of went on to going into design and printmaking and looking at letters and stuff like that. So with design, there are lots of things you can do. The list is almost endless. <laughs> the older you get and the more you specialize, the more you can kind of go into a specific area. But the areas I'm interested in are what is called editorial, information design, and I do some branding as well, depending on where I'm working and, and what kind of projects I'm, I'm working on currently. So like I said before, I um, actually didn't study um, art or design at school. I didn't actually know graphic design existed until um, I was like 19 when I did my degree. Um, but I, like I said before, I've always enjoyed art and I've always enjoyed taking photographs. And my, you know, what I used to do before compared to what I do now or what I've learned through my degree is just is so you know the development is is very clear and you learn a massive amount um, that's because I've got older obviously but it's also because I went to university and I learned from very very intelligent designers so what interests me and what influences my um, my design um, I like information and not necessarily numbers because I'm bad at maths but um, things that are quite obvious and you do every day and I enjoy turning that into a design that you can look at or anyone can look at and it's quite a basic design method but it's quite effective so some some examples of this is a book that I did you might be able to see the images um, but I basically used a GPS on my phone and I tracked where I, I moved in the day. And then I created an illustration of this for every day, turned that, made that into a book and then also had some information about where I was going and also one image a day. So altogether, I think it was like zoo, you know, I think it was yeah two months of my of my life in a little book, which you could look at. The most important thing I learned from um, art school or design school was to be critical about your work. Um, it's hard for some people to be critical about their work, um, but that's something that you learn. You know if you. If you make something and you think it's perfect from the start, that's just, that's not how design works. Design is a process of doing something, getting it wrong, then doing it again and again and again and again. And then you might never finish it, but it could be better the more you fail. It's hard to understand, but that's something that you'll, you can learn and your tutors definitely try and get you to um, finesse. Um, it's also important to explore as many areas as possible and use as many facilities. So all the printmaking, all the, you know, the movie equipment, cameras, that's what unis are for in a way. They have millions and millions of pounds of equipment which the students are meant to use and that's one thing that well, I thought was very important. So my advice for an aspiring designer is to mess around and you know try and explore as many areas as possible. Don't don't you know don't make a logo when you're 
I don't know how old, but like 18 or 19, and then just be like, oh, I want to be a, um, a branding designer. Because you'll realize that it's more important and it's better for you to just go crazy and try and do as much as possible. Uh, and you'll, you'll have a lot more fun as well. Um, and to also do your own projects. Um, don't just do something because you've been set a project for it or someone's asked you to do it or the school's wants you to do it. Don't try and do something because you want to do it. It's called a self-initiated project in, uh, in the design world. And often with those projects, you will learn much more about yourself than if you're doing it at school. So thank you for listening. I hope you have enjoyed me talking about my early graphic design career and life. And I hope I can inspire some of you to maybe think about studying graphic design or, you know, think about studying photography or art. You know, they all are kind of under creativity and creativity is incredibly important. And people forget that you can, you know, you can have a really good job and do drawings and illustrations and take photographs and have fun.